Madam President. Senator from Louisiana. Thank you, Madam President. I want to associate myself with the eloquent remarks of Senator Carper. I don't need to remind the President that we have $25 trillion worth of taxpayer debt. Not our debt, taxpayer debt. And it's more than $25 trillion. If we add in the mandatory spending, the Medicare, the Medicaid, Social Security, it's over $100 trillion. The entire net worth of the American people, the most prosperous country in all of human history, is just barely over $100 trillion. And as Senator Carper said, my constituents all the time say, why don't you do something about it? They say, why don't you just set priorities? Now, we've had a lot of wasteful spending, all of us, in the United States Congress going back years. Um, I don't need to, to, uh, to, to remind you of, of some of the wasteful spending, but this is why people are so cynical. In the past, this Congress, not this particular Congress, has spent $370,000 to study whether mothers love dogs as much as their kids. In the past, the United States Congress has spent $700,000 to restore a Buddhist temple in Vietnam. In the past... This United, not this Congress, but a past Congress has spent $400,000 that they gave to a major university, I kid you not, Madam President, to study the oddity of the duck penis. But we just set a record. We just sent $1.4 billion to 1.1 million people in America when we owe $25 trillion who are deceased, and we know they are deceased. And Senator Carper's bill that he's been working on for seven years, and my bill that I've been working with him on for the last three and a half years, will stop this. It's not a heavy lift. You know the problem? And I'm not criticizing the Treasury Department. They did a great job of sending out about $270 billion to 161 million people through the CARES Act. And I thank them for that. But the problem is they sent $1.4 billion to 1.1 million dead people. Why did that happen? Here's why. We have what is called the death master file. If you die in America your state or others in your state send to the Social Security Administration the fact that you're dead. And the Social Security Administration makes a list. It's called the, mass, the uh, Death Master File. It's not a perfect list, but it's fairly accurate. It can be better. But the problem is the Social Security Administration has taken the position for years that they can only share the, uh, the, the death master file with a, with a few other agencies. They say, we don't have the authority to share it with other agencies, only a couple of agencies. And guess which one agency they couldn't share the death file with? The Department of the Treasury. And that's why we wasted one point. Four billion dollars. And it's a very simple fix, as Senator Carper's worked on for seven years. Here's what our bill will do. It's really quite simple. First of all, it tells the Social Security Administration to share the death records with everybody in the federal government who writes checks so we don't send dead people money. Duh. It will allow federal agencies access to each other's databases. Imagine that. They would talk to each other. 
it would direct agencies to use this information to curb improper payments, and it would direct the Social Security Administration to do a better job. Now, how simple is that? How simple is that? We are spending right now $800 million a year. That's on top of the $1.4 billion that we just wasted. Took and threw it in the dirt. Threw it in the dirt. Like clockwork, every year we send $800 million to dead people. And it's been all in the papers, and it's a very easy fix. And that's what Senator Carper Nye's bill does.